All right, Coach, you're supposed to have a, a midweek game today. I know it can kind of be tough sometimes when you're not playing games as far as hitters, you know, the timing and everything. How are you guys trying to work that out in practice and get ready for this weekend? Uh, we, we had an inner squad yesterday, had some pitchers who uh, needed to get some innings in, uh, throw some of our hitters. So I, I think um, we should be fine from that from that standpoint. Uh, and it'll be good good practice for uh, for next week, too, with finals week. Obviously not having a midweek game during finals week to uh, make sure that, that we are uh, void of any excuses to not be ready to go out there and play uh, this weekend or next weekend. Does it make it a little easier just having one team on the schedule this week as far as your preparation? Uh, it doesn't change too much for us. I wouldn't say maybe that, that's true for maybe every team or every coach. But for us, I think uh, – you know the way the way my philosophy is: if we play baseball the way we should play baseball, I'm not too worried about who we're playing. I think we got a pretty good chance to win if we do things the right way. So no, I'm not too worried about. It doesn't make a huge difference to me preparing for two teams or one, but uh, I, I certainly think what we will be prepared uh, this weekend for Western Michigan. As far as the MAC this year, it's really anybody can beat anybody. It's kind of how baseball is in general this weekend. Three big games against Western Michigan. What do you guys have to do to set the tone early and take control of the series? I, I think it's it's very simple for us, man. If we take care of the baseball, uh, the pitching has has really done a good job being being fairly consistent. Um, uh, really, every every game in the MAC, maybe take out one or two starts in, in in our MAC schedule, the pitching has been really good. So I think for us, it's it's taking care of the baseball and then having a uh, consistent at bats. I think. That's the thing that we have uh, we've gotten away from a little bit at times this season offensively, where uh, we we rely a little bit too much on a home run to score runs and uh, not enough on having nine scrappy guys in the lineup that are doing anything they can do to get on base, anything they can do to get the next guy up. Um, and I think uh, that's something that we need to make sure is a point of emphasis not only for this weekend but for the rest of our season that that is something that is uh, very consistent in our approach. You talk about the guys kind of, you know, going through like mini slumps at times. Sometimes it seems like guys are going at the same time and just struggle to find a little offense. But in the dugout, it just seems like the guys are always very confident. What have you seen from them as far as their response to situations like that? Well, I do think uh, that that's a, that's a good thing that we have. I think we do have a very confident group of hitters, and we we have a very good lineup. There's there's no two ways about it. Our 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 lineup is very good and very uh, threatening uh, to opposing pitchers. So I don't think there's too much that's going to shake these guys. Um, from their mindset when they get in the batter's box. But uh, the results part of it, that, that there's guys that could be doing a lot better than what they are right now. And I, I don't want to get hung up on um, batting averages or any statistics like that. I, I would just want our guys to get really, really locked in on what are they doing offensively to help us win a baseball game. And if they're three for three that day and they hit some home runs, sure, that's going to help us win some baseball games. But there's ways uh, without that kind of stat line that you can help us offensively. Thank you.